But at the center of this work of the Mass Commission is the process to domesticate um, the UN guiding principles on business and human rights, which is a key guiding document uh, when it comes to addressing adverse impacts of, of, of businesses and human rights. Um, and in the last few years, um, Zambia has been working hard to try and domesticate um, these UN guiding principles. Um, after Zambia uh, accepted the recommendation in 20, um, 2018, 2018, the Universal Credit Review uh, to develop a national action plan on business and commerce. Now, an action plan on business and commerce entails that uh, um, you strategically and, uh, and in a very deliberate manner you now begin to address different elements. Uh, uh, Relating to how businesses are impacting on adverse world rights and how those uh, adverse mass impacts uh, can be addressed um, by both the government and also by by businesses themselves. Now, if you look at the uh, UN Guiding Principles for Business and Rights, there are uh, there are two, there are three key as the, the pillars. Uh, now, the first pillar is how the states how the state um, protects human rights, the protective budget. Uh, and the second pillar is how businesses respect human rights. And the third pillar is how do both government and the businesses actually you know, remake those adverse impacts caused by businesses. Uh, and so, um, as much as we are working with government to try and implement that recommendation that came from the Universal Credit Review in 2017, we are also working with businesses to see how what role um, uh, the role they can play, uh, you know, within their own uh, structures and the uh, governance systems in their companies, how they can begin to address issues of demands. Uh, because you may understand that. Well, most businesses really feel like they have nothing to do with Mars. It's the responsibility of government. But the new Mars architecture requires that even businesses take responsibility, you know, for the Mars, you know, impacts that they cause or that are associated with their businesses. Uh, that way, then it makes the work of government much more easier to focus on protecting Mars. Uh, but also, when you when you look at uh, what would then be the role of businesses is respecting human rights. Um, pillar two of the UN guiding principles of business and human rights require that businesses respect human rights. How do they respect human rights? It's by uh, putting in place policies within the you know within the institutions, within their businesses, uh, policies that speak to aspirations of the company. Uh, in terms of how they are going to protect human rights, how they are going to ensure human rights are respected in that government. But also, it's, it's about conducting what we call a human rights due diligence. Now, a human rights due diligence is a requirement because it allows you to assess periodically um, possible human rights impacts that a business may have. Um, and then that allows you, once you have done that assessment, then it allows you to come up with an implementation program to address to begin addressing those issues uh, uh, without you being sued, being taken to court because you will have violated someone's rights.